Sean Murphy finally has a bit of traction, closing the gap to five, but he needs... Got very close to that red, at this red to the yellow bag. Oh, and he's knocked it in, brilliant shot. Very frustrating session for him overall which could still end on a positive note. And that was a brilliant initial red. Great session himself. But he knows what Murphy did to Selby, Nine. and he knows... Cue ball and leave himself on this red. Push the other one away from the black as... Black now, maybe, unless he can get enough on the cue ball. Oh, he could, just about. Where'd he look? Has a bit of insurance, trying to screw the cue ball out. Knowing you're going to be on that red. Free shot to bring more reds into play. That was excellent. Yeah, that was really well navigated because it's a strange psychology to these long formats. Could have been 9-1 down, but all of a sudden, seventh, that hope that he can replicate that kind of form. 39. And he's always loved the big stage, Sean Murphy. He's a showman. In his own words, he's a show-off. He likes being the centre of attention. He likes to entertain a big crowd like this. He can get inspired. And when he does that, he can become very dangerous. 47. D starts fast this evening. We could yet be in for something special. Played this week, he'd have probably said, Where do you sign me up? Because it's a healthy league. In 2012, lost in a decider. He's lost twice in the final frame in this tournament. Worst moments, even when you're in a great position. the cusp of doing it this black will suffice for back-to-back -back frames but he never quits he'll always give it everything even if but he's finishing what has been a frustrating afternoon here in Shepherd. Century. Yeah, he's done very well here, Sean. Sure. Towards the end of this, by how he puts his chalk back in his chalk pocket, he, he really... Yeah, the whole Murphy swagger around the table is always a barometer of how he's feeling. We haven't seen that swagger today. Lovely long red, and there it is. Murphy. Give us the nod, Sean. <laughs> Give us the nod. <laughs> there it is. Finding the form that did for Selby. But better late One than never. Five. Brilliant. He's had to stand up and find something, and he has done. He's at least kept his hopes alive. And that brown in the previous frame when he got was gutsy as well. Well, At that stage, point? Trump. 7-3, it's not. Take well, nothing away from... He knows the job is far from done. <laughs> and all of a sudden, he looks like Sean Murphy again. Action is back. For whatever reason, he's, he's finishing it in the right way. And we could yet be in. It's close. Oh, unlucky. <laughs> it's in Shanghai.
and he smiled. He's still trailing 10-5 to Judd Trump, of course, did all his damage early on in this match, and indeed early on this evening when he pulled away to 10-3. Play a different red here, Trump. Maybe a double. It's an amazing shot because he can be finished in front of that red, covering by the blanks. Because usually to make you miss the double. Well, time sort of stood still there, didn't it? Everyone was just watching that red to see it was on target. No, it was a very good shot. So nine. Seventeen. Twenty-five. And again, that cue ball just races on. Just the question of getting the screw right here, and he hasn't done it. Just a few a tiny bit, but not too bad. And he played it gently, if anything, too gently. I'm sure he would have loved to have won with another century, but Trump, bottom line, Trump. just wants to win. Well, on another, another day, I guess Murphy covers that, but he did miss the... Played a very delicate little shot positionally. If this goes, that is a very good shot indeed. Better than on that shot. You can see the area. You can see why he wanted to finish on that side. Three reds all lined up. Time for the game, and indeed for the top players. Judd Trump will be 35 the players of that time were the ones who created the opportunities for the players that came after them and in the world of course we lost Ray this weekend very sadly but he's established a fine legacy something he would enjoy greatly To the right, but that's all. Get to kind of start the season, and there's already been an event, but a lot of terrific snooker to come over the next few months up until the World Championship stage. He's always loved coming to Shanghai. He's lost three finals. But Murphy will get the chance to play for it. Yes, he'll come back to the table. Of course, uh, one snooker, not impossible, if the right opportunity came his way. Because if you give a chance, then the snooker is very easy. on something big one you're gonna have to play the blue it's got to go in and it hasn't so you dream of aren't they as a player the match is won you're at the table and you one. know that when the break ends if it ends shake your hand so these are the moments you you dream about in snooker Well, very highly prized because of its elite nature. Seven. And Chad Trump.
will have his 40th professional title. And he's played man here in Shanghai. Winning the last four. And then again, the great start to the second session. Winning the first three and a half. The first of how many this season? That's the question. There's plenty of titles to contend for. Because this Shanghai Masters, he'll put all his effort into the ones he does play in. Because he's won a lot of them before. So he always goes out there with a view to winning each event like it's the biggest 20. win. Thirty-one. Yeah, he sees a trophy. I mean, he generates 30. a phenomenal amount of Q speed. Uh, it's so, much, so quickly, I think, it comes around his body a little bit. Just way to play all these extraordinary shots. Physically, other players just can't play them because they can't get that Q move the same speed through the ball. John Trump makes a perfect start.